smart. Art Star is not going to activate that until it's time. They're just spraying the walls right up. Looking for it. Yeah, big surge through garage coming through here and nothing to lose. And Jazzy ready and waiting on that raise. No utility remaining. The drone will get the tag there. Oh, Annie Jero has found a fantastic timing coming through at the back of garage, able to upgrade to the ghost. And Alexis is finishing up a couple of these players as well. Two versus two now. It's Pistol Madness as per the huge. And it's up to Alexis. Nice precision there with that classic. Looking to finish things wow. off. This Ariana to actually get it done and has just enough time, I think, just barely to secure the defuse. Oh, it's so close. Oh. And it is locked in. Nothing to lose. And then immediately pops the smoke sub. Got your trail. And there go the Seekers as well for some extra measures. Jazzykin's able to get some love on the entry and that's a clear sight now spike going down and it's a four versus three for the post plant for c9 white so they're looking strong on the defense we do have a flank coming through slowly but surely from ariana kist it's the hot hands there to clear that corner and the push comes through oh meldo finding a fantastic timing to clear out the flank so looking very well in hand at this point c9 whites that was awesome. The gravity well <laughs> into the Killjoy Molly into a shock dart. Like those guys, those people stood no chance coming out of spawn. It's not even fair. I mean, we talked about synergy. I mean, you can't get more synergized than that. C9 try to commit off of this. They are going to be draining some defensive utility because of this pressure being so strong. And look, there we go. Jazzykins oh. goes in. The trade comes through though from Arianakis, but C9 are just going off at the back of this. It is back and forward here. Wow. And Cat triggered, able to get one. The flash comes through. It is a defense that has prevented Seaside access, but they've lost a lot in the process and are in a 2v3. And C9 can go anywhere. Wow. Jazzy with the satchel up onto that box. <laughs> what the Sova ult going on? What a hit. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure how that was going to, to go, but that was such a beautiful play for oh. space. Dan, Dan, there's no way C9's going to be ready for this flank this quick. <gasps> oh, no! the timing, though. Oh. Oh, Arstar's... That's the spike. Oh, the cage on the spike. And there's, there is time for Arstar. Unfortunately, of course, killing that turret does reveal Arstar's position, being of one of two places, most likely. And there's the Nano Swarms. Time to perfection here. Coming through from Mel. Lovely stuff there from C9 White to finish off the round for Bonami. And they're in a good spot. Mel's one away from a lockdown. And it's nothing to lose. I'm not really in a spot where I could ever possibly imagine them wanting to burn ults here. Unless a couple of kills are gifted. There goes the couple to try to see what they can make of this damage-wise. But again, running into the firing squad here. Not a lot to be done. Artstar really trying to squeeze out any possible value. It's like, it's like you know, when the base on the seaside and she has timed it to perfection. But is there an anti-timing? There is. <laughs> Look at that. Wins the battle somehow. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Now we're in a 4-on-4 four four and there's the Astral ult coming in. That's the attack side of the Astral ult though. We also have a defender Astral ult. Oh dear. Perpendicular Ooh. lines out here. Oh, that's a huge pickup from r Star as well. And there's so much to play with here. Annie Dro though, two very important kills there coming through. And that's going to be a 2v2 here. So at this point, it really feels like anyone's. Ooh, there goes Cat Triggered. Alexis announcing her position in style from back sight. r Star now with it all to do. And can't hit those first few bullets, unfortunately, for her. But Alexis... They're forced to play passive into a style that they are very aware of. Oh, the aggression is brutal. Great entries coming through. And again, tactically, everything is in place for C9 White to make their lives as just perfect as possible. And Arianakis is stuck here on this flank. And I don't know that there's a lot of options here for nothing to lose. We'll see what they're able to cobble together if they decide to go for it. Or perhaps it's going to be the, the same case here. Just funnel them into Arianakis. Don't give any opportunity to exit, just kill all of the remaining C9 white players as they try to leave the site. That might be the best case here. And it looks like that's what they're going to try to do. 
Catcher has to live though. Maybe the wall up here something. Just try to keep Ooh. this position locked out. But there is a safe passage now for C9. They're going to get away from the spike. Oh, wow. <laughs> the awareness is just great. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Cat dragged it down as if this can't. T9 is going into the stack. Showstopper still on deck. Oh, dear. oh. oh. good follow ups coming through again. This alt economy is just whenever there could be any hint, any whiff of trouble, the ults come in to really lock it in and Katsumi's just found a just a really sick timing here and that's Arsar down nothing Arianicus can do as well against that off angle and that is eight rounds and what looked like another psychic comes through and it's just it's just beautiful just as you were talking about Sean it's all very well pieced together and drilled here by C9 White oh I'm gonna plant the spike let me just drop two Molotovs on it real quick I still have <laughs> this alarm bot Cosmic Divide, Annie in a really divide. sick position. <laughs> Very well played by her and... Oh dear. Poor Cypher. Poor, poor Cypher. Yeah. Oh, and the drone goes through oh, first. Oh, the drone and... goes through. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> okay, well, they're going to try to do what they can to break through now and... Jazzy will actually with that shot, but Katsumi on the other end of things hit really connecting, and it's just maybe I think to lose now on the attack, trying to hit this A site quickly. It is looking difficult, oh, Mel. Oh, oh no. no, Mel, stop that! Don't, don't do it. Don't. It's just, it's just not fair. See that White doing a good job defending here. Just one left. Luna Cass with the ghost. Seeing what she can get done. She's picked up the spike as well. A minute to play with a decent amount of health remaining. And there is certainly moves to be made here. A 1v1 for Luna Cats. Oh, the tags come through. Alex right there and play retake. And in goes the push here from nothing to lose. Nice angle coming through to try to defend this one. But a very, very good couple entries have been found now by nothing to lose to secure site control. And he drew, might try to get a little cheeky there. But it looks like Luna Cats is on that angle. Very responsible stuff preventing Anything from going awry before the spike is planted. They've now fallen into post-plant positions. And it's looking increasingly unlikely that C9 White should be able to find a way back in. Never say never, of course, as Katsumi will announce her position. Just being touched by that. Oh, the distraction. Just tapping it as much as possible to create distraction for Annie Dro. And now here comes the push. Finally, are they able to find the kills they're looking for? Katsumi in the side. Able to take one down, but that's a wrap. It is the... Brother, yeah. The smoke there that was back sight. Katsumi with such a strong off angle that they're just gonna feed straight into her. She's just hitting everything here as well. C9 looking to defend this one. R Star with the lurk into A. Catches one. It's the second to be had here for R Star, but won't come to his conclusion. And Sarah Star unable to connect as well. Spike now going down and Spike planted. See what Cloud9 White can do here to retake this. It's actually yeah, gonna be difficult. The lockdown is about to come into play. Lunacats lock. Lunacats uses her ult as well, so this is gonna be actually a really tough retake. But they'll run through this wall because you know, Killjoy ult. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very well put. Very succinct. Very concise there. And there comes the defuse. Pressure is on right now. Coming off of it though, Katsumi. Mel able to find the kill into Lunacats, who desperately had to, pan in a panic sense, push onto the spike here. The pressure is just too great. And that said, time is still a problem here. Sarah Star gets the key kill. Oh, the finish for the clutch. From Ooh, I love it. Love a good Guardian as well. And the push comes through onto the C site. And the weapon advantage really working out as it's supposed to. That said, though, Alexis might make things complicated. Jazzy's now in a forward position with a judge. Not the optimal ranges here, but no. he's... Oh, no. Jazzy's found optimal ranges with that judge, putting it to great use. She has decimated the push. And R-Star now with the, with the Guardian in the 1v2. Unfortunately, though, the spike is down on the ground in a very bad position. Camera taken out. Time to work this. Immediately taken out, Dan. No info gotten from that, really. Can't work up in time. Oh, she gets pinged by the silver recon.
You just gotta go happy mode here and just just run all the way. With the guardian just get the get the two ones out. They're they're playing off the turret though, Dan. The second this turret shoots, they're double oh. It's like having a third player. It's so. There goes the Leah. The duelist making space. Try to play back boathouse though. Cloud9 white. Oh, Mel's creeping in the smoke, looking for the timings. Ooh. And my God, Mel's. Mel's classic right click. I, I need some of that because mine does not shoot like that. But still, the site will go to nothing to lose. And Cloud9 White are on the retake and they're down a player as well. So certainly not going to be easy. Jazzykins a little bit weak. Might have the heal on, ready on cooldown soon. But it yeah, does seem like Cloud9 White are going for it. Sova MP main might have a recon on deck very soon. Oh, All right. Matter, okay. <laughs> Oh, and Mel is going to be in a one-on-four here. She's going to play for the retake. I love this. She has a short and the, no. Oh, oh, I just oh. how I just can't. I can't. <laughs> it's happening here with the shorty. Two shorties, two back. kills on either side of the map. Very impressive stuff from C9 White to facilitate that. But still, they got to get the retake in, and it, it will be tough. And the cats has that Astro utility ready to go. Recon on deck right here. Oh, this is going to get him too. This is going to ping. Oh, wow. They're so fast. Timing not working out there. Out for Sarah Star. And there comes a recon from Annie Dro. Cloud9 White. In they go. As Sarah Star is looking to try to defend this. It's just too many. Too many players. Our Star has it all to do against three. So they're just suggesting that they might be a push coming in from the flank. But unfortunately, it's going to be... Looking quite impossible to challenge this Odin. It's just looking far too strong here. Coming through the ace with the Odin from set up a fight for this. Flash is oh available. God. Oh, this is so aggressive. And Alexis is waiting for the perfect moment. They have no idea about Alexis. Coming in, takes down the player, carrying the spike. And now taking ground with that spike. Dropping the hot hands, winning the fight. It just cannot go anything to lose to be up against some of these plays. C9 White doing such a great job. Ooh, good find from Arkstar. Puts her in a one on two. Very difficult. But she has a lot to work with. Ooh, turret. That, that'll give her some info. So she knows at least one is on the right. 13 seconds. Great play coming in again from C9 White to make sure it's guaranteed towards B main. He still has that Odin. Oh my goodness. Look, they're just waiting. They're so scared. The gravity well's right there as well. When it back is used. Oh my goodness. Oh, just straight through the layer. Alex is getting max value from that and slowing things down. Although we'll get that pushed through eventually, but just straight into the utility and the just masses ready to the site hits, which is what I was afraid of before the game started. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my god, Alexis. She just she's just destroying them in the series. Yeah. Yeah. There is just this confidence. It's just so awesome the teamwork there. Jeez, what a, that's an insane piece of info. Oh the headshot found by Katsumi. Oh, it's just savagery. No one this is them. no one survives. No one is left alive. Oh my god, it's just... I just can't, Sean. It's just... It's just utility burned early on. Katsumi looking for the headshots. Oh, looking confident there. Oh man, it's that's just deathmatch right now for Katsumi. Hunting heads. And, oh man. Spike down a. Katsumi is just looking for frags right now. Padding the stats. And Alexis to clean things up. C9 white, 9 utility as well. Ooh, walking through the smoke feels very possible right now. Oh, what? that transfer from Anidro actually does not look real. That looks like something just completely fake. I don't understand how that's possible. Anidro just causing problems. She is the problem with that Odin. Arstar known with a nice follow-up. And it's looking a little bit doable now at this point. Three more players in market. Arstar making quick work of them. Giving Luna Cats a fighting chance to the spike is down. Great follow-up from Luna Cats. The second frag can't be found. The end boss Annie Drove need to go and be shipped out. 
And we've got Jazzy Kins. Might be... Might actually get caught by this. Does get tagged up. All Star's going to go down, though. Alexis finding that one. Sarah Star able to dodge. Hunter's Fury there as well. Now Mel is, is ready to go there. Just Mel just knows exactly how to catch the dash. It just seems so... Again, like you said, Sean, like she's done this before. Maybe she's done Prudence. I thought it was something funny, but we'll come back to that. As we do have the pistol here coming in hot for the second half. Nothing to lose trying to keep their chances alive in this one. If you missed the action, seeing that White won the first map here. Fighting for a chance to survive here in this series. Arianakis will get the first opening kill, but some answers coming through quickly from C9 White. And it's a dash to plant on that B site for C9 White. Here come the Astro Stars quite quickly from Katsumi to try to cover for these post plant positions. Lock out these defending nothing to lose players. Sarah has his drone. That that could be pretty big. They might not even wait for it. They're just sending it. Oh, I, just, I just love the, the scummy angles with off, on top of the walls. Fantastic stuff there on the Sage by Jazzy Kins. Terra Star and Ariana Kiss, though, trying to make their way in for this retake. Still some time to work with. The Spike is, of course, ever getting closer to detonation. And now they have to push forwards. Mel in the corner below. Trying to really mess with the crosshair placement here. Mel with the jumping classic. Doesn't get it off at the right click. Can Jazzy oh. end the dreams? She can! Nothing to lose won the opening pistol, right, Dan? That's their one round? Yes. Yeah, and then that they got correct. Ecoed. That is insane. And they also won the first two rounds on eight. Not a lot to work with here for nothing to lose, but of course they're fully buying into this, as it is their backs are against the wall. No more lives remaining. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yikes, Dan. Yikes. Okay. Still four players left. We've got a Bucky. We've got a Spectre, a Sheriff, a Ghost. But the thing is here as well is that C9 White are not rushing things. They're, they're just... They get the pick. They know there's desperation for nothing to lose. They might make some risky plays on the extremities. They're looking to catch any pushes anywhere on the map. And they're just looking to punish mistakes. That is the sign of a good team is that you, you give no openings. You force your opponent to take or create openings for themselves. And then you punish them. Such yeah, as that. I, I mean, this... Round, Nothing to Lose tried the exact thing that C9 did in the previous half. They played close with a shotgun. Look at the difference. You know, like, it, there's no dry peek into that shotgun. Even if there was, like, a turret, you know. Any draws between two shock darts in that spot. She's so aware that that's a possibility. I'm just here trying to finish things off. Zanny Dro, but she's going to go down. I mean, maybe... Needs to purchase that Odin again. There may not be any more Odins indeed.